In this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 easy text effects on After Effects. They're very simple and easy to do, and none of them require any plugins. By the way, I released a lot of text presets in my Payhip for a very cheap price, and you can click on the Payhip link in my bio to go and buy them if you want to. And before we begin, consider subscribing, it's free, and you can always change your mind later. Let's begin! This is text number one. So first we're gonna start off with searching turbulent displace in the effects and presets and then drag it down here to add it to your text and as you can see here it is applied. Now go over to the amount and type 15 and size type 20. Now you go under evolution options, press this and this is where you have to really focus. Press option while pressing on the timer right here and then this will show up. Simply you just have to type time asterisk 10 and then enter and there you have it very simple and very easy for number two you're gonna also want to add turbulent displace and then also search wave warp so now you have this now you're gonna go over to wave height and make it around minus 15 make the wave width very big like 400 and then here it's kind of wavy but we do need to slow it down a bit, so I'm just gonna make it- I'm gonna make it 0.2. Now we have this, but we want to change this up a bit so it looks a bit different. Now you're gonna want to change this to minus 42, and there you have it. Now I'm just gonna show some easy applicable effects that are usually used in video editing. So first, press I to go to the beginning of your clip, then search Augie. This is a very popular effect and you don't even have to change anything. Number two is 3D random spike tumble. Add it to your text and there you go. That's basically it. It's already created. And the same with the other one. You can press U and then you can toggle how quick you want the transition to be. This is quick. This is not quick. Next we have random fade up. So search random fade up, apply it, and there you go. Basically all these presets within After Effects are already done and you can just change them to the setting that you want basically. The next text effect is explosion. This was a very popular effect in 2022-ish. It's very easy. So you just apply this and there you go. You can either choose this or explosion 2 which is with flicker. And then as you can see, it flickers and then it also makes the letters a bit smaller. Last effect I want to show is fluorescent. Basically, you want to add a fluorescent light and this is what it looks like without tweaking any of the settings. Alright, let's move on to text number four. This is liquify. So you're going to search liquify, then go to the beginning, and then press this right here. And then go into view options and warp tool options. And as you can see, you can already start like messing with it a bit. If you want the pressure of the brush to be increased, then you just increase it here. And then it's very easy to drag all these down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase this to around 90 and put the brush size down to 30. But this right here is personal preference. Obviously. If you want to keyframe it, start off by making the liquify that you want, and then after that, we keyframe it. Drag this down here, and you know, this depends on your text, and it depends on how far you want it to liquify, how far you want it to, you know, go down here. So I'm just gonna do what I want my text to look like, like this. Now you press distortion percentage, and then you press U on your keyboard, and then you drag this over here. Now zero and there you have it if you want to add a graph then you can simply highlight all these and then right click while your mouse is on the keyframe then go to keyframe assistant and easy ease now you can press this graph button and go in here and make it whatever graph you want it to be in my case i want it to be a mid graph so i'm going to tighten around here so it peaks right here this is where it peaks and then it goes down. 
So it looks like this. Number five, the writing effect. This effect is a bit more advanced and takes a bit more time, but don't get discouraged because it is gonna look very cool at the end. The way this is gonna work is that I'm gonna mask every single letter of this text and then I'm gonna add a stroke at the end and then the stroke will draw out after the mask. So you want to basically mask after how you would want to write the text. So press G and then you can zoom in and start doing your mask. This is kind of a long process so I'm just gonna skip ahead but before I do that if you ever come in a situation here where you're like oh where do I go with the mask next because you can't go up here because then it's gonna cross that's fine then you can make another mask and look that there's two masks so I'm just gonna do that see I have all of the masks here and now I'm going to add stroke. So search stroke in the effects and presets and then you add this. So first you're going to want to press all masks and then instead of original image you press reveal original image. And brush size right here depends on how big your text is and how much you want it to you know type out how big you want the letters to be. So now that your start is at 0 and end is at 100, you want to do this right here. And then you can basically just set a keyframe here for the start at 0, and then go to the end of your clip, press O, and then put it to 100. And that's basically how you can do it. And obviously you can tweak the settings a bit here. This looks a bit weird, then you can make the brush size a bit bigger. Or you can make the brush size smaller and make it look more like this. But that's ultimately your choice. So now I'm going to show you how to make an expression text. So go to the beginning of your clip, press I, and then press the arrow right here. Go to text, and then press more option. And then here with anchor point grouping, change it to word. And then this grouping alignment, you make this minus 45. And this one's zero, minus 45. Now you're going to want to press animate, and then scale. And then right here, just ignore this ring selector thing and then just press delete with backspace. And then here at animator one, you're gonna wanna press add property and then add rotation. Now that you have that, press add again, property and then tracking. And then once again, press add. And then instead of property, we go to selector and add expression. First of all, um, make this zero and then make the rotation 50, minus 50. And then make this tracking amount to after and then make the tracking amount minus 21. Now you go into expression selector and then amount. And then here in amount, you press option and option is on Mac. I think it's control or something on Windows. So you press option while you press left click. And then here you paste the thing that I pasted in the description. You can find it in the description. And then just Command V. And there you have it. That's basically the text. And add a motion blur because then it's going to be much smoother. And you can also make it 60 frames if you want it to be even smoother. I also have a lot of other expression texts. So if you ever want to buy those, link in the description. They're in my pay hit. Alright, moving on to text 7. So actually, first of all, you're going to want to scale this up. And you can scale this down after. Don't worry. And then pre-compose it. And now you're going to want to add motion blur and 3D. Great. Now go into active camera here and then press custom view 1. And now duplicate this layer. So command D. You grab this little thing here and push it back. Then duplicate again, push it back, duplicate again, push it back. And basically do that until you have the thickness of the text that you want, basically. And now you can basically just grab all these, press shift to select them all, and then pre-compose them. And then here, you can press this right here to enable the 3D again. And then enable the 3D here. Now you're going to want to go to active camera, and here it is. 
So if you rotate it, it's gonna be 3D. You can add a light layer to make it three dimensional, but sometimes that doesn't look that good or isn't enough. So you can also go into this pre-comp, double click on it, and then obviously this is the text in front, right? So to make it more three dimensional, you can search fill. Then add this here to the second lowest one and then go here and then you can make it kind of gray and then copy this only copy this so you just press this and then copy command c select all these and then command v and there you go now you have a cool shadow here and to go back into the main comp you just press here and there you go now you have 3d text and you can mess with it in any way you want i'm just gonna do a simple little animation like this and there you go you have 3d text moving on to number eight this is actually very easy to do but i've seen a lot of people be curious on how to do it because not a lot of people know how to so i'm going to show it here so press i to go to the beginning of your text then go here and then press animate and then add tracking and then here as you can see this is, you know, literally it. So you can literally just add a keyframe right here and then go to the end of your clip and then space out the text as much as you want. If it doesn't space out the text in the middle, then it is probably because you have the paragraph set to this. Let me show you what it looks like here. So if it's doing this, then you just change it to this right here because then it does it from the middle. So there you go very easy now for this wiggle text so before we can add the wiggle add position and then after that we press add selector and wiggly and then change this to three and then this to five then go up here and then change this to zero now here on the random seed press option while pressing on it and then delete this and then write posturize time and then three on the second row right here Type random and then a thousand. And for the final text, uh, you're gonna wanna search wave warp. And then over here are the effects, right? So uh, it's based on preference what you wanna do, but you can change the wave width to about 100 and then change the wave height to about five. Wave speed to like, point two maybe depends on how fast you want it and how slow you want it as you can see here is faster i'm just gonna change the wave width a bit more so now it looks like that great but you can also put it down to like 50 and then it's way closer as you can see right there thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it remember to check out my pay app and see if there is any other text that you want it's for a very cheap price and yeah you should get it now before i up the price because that's maybe gonna happen who knows bye